Christina and I will explain to you how to work with Google Sites, that is how to create a site, how to edit its content, how to create subpages and so on. First of all, you must go to Google Sites via this address sites.google.com and then log in with your Google account. So now we're on Google Sites. Here in the middle are the sites that you've already created or to which you have access. I have some here, but for you this space will probably be empty. So let's create some sites. On the top left there is a button for that, Create. Now we have to choose a template for the site. I take the blank one, but you can choose others here if you like. Then we have to choose a name for the site and this will be the overall title of your site. I will go for tutorial on Google Sites here. Next thing is the location of your site, that is the internet address under which your site will be found. Maybe you will have to try a bit to find an address that is available. I will try this one here and hope that it works. Uh, then we can select a color theme if you want. I'll take this one. Then type in this code. And then create the site. This will be the starting page of your site. Now we need some content for the site. Um, first we will edit this page and insert some text so it will become clear what the site is about. On the top right there is a button for that with a pencil and this one opens the text editor for this page. We can change the title of this page and also the main content. We can also change the font or the size and also the color if you like and do some other things just like with any common text editor. I will save these changes now with the save button on the top right and then I will create some new pages. The system here is that we have the site which is the starting page and provides the title and then the pages which are attached to the site. I will show you this by creating a new page on the existing site. So I click on this new page button on the top right here. I give the page a name. It will be a web page so I leave it like this. And then select the location of the page. I can now choose if I want it to be a subpage of the starting page. This would be here or another page at the same level as the starting page. I want it to be at the top level, not a subpage. So I'll choose that and then create the page. Now I can add some content to it. For example, we can insert images via this insert button on the left here. We can either take an image from another website but please be careful with that because of copyright laws or take an image from our own drive. Okay, there you go. Well, maybe now it's a little bit too big but I can change the size here. This one might be okay. We can also add some links to our page over this chain symbol here. And here we, here we can create a link to another Google Sites page or here to a web address. We can also insert a YouTube video over insert video and YouTube. For example, we take this one here, just copy the URL and 
paste it here. We can also change the title. Save it. And it will be here on our page. Okay, now we can save the page. And this is what it looks like. Here's the image, the link works, and here is the YouTube video. Okay, next thing we do, we will create another page as a sub-page to this one. So here, new page. And now we put it here under content options, so under the first page we created. Create the page. Okay, so now here on the left we see the pages in this index. And as you can see, our new page is listed as a subpage under the other one. We can also change the content of this page, maybe prime on the layout. Okay, that's it. You can also change the page set settings, for example, turn off the comments via this More Options menu, Page Settings, here, then save the changes. There we go. If you have done something wrong with your page, for example, like this. You can always go back to an earlier version of the page, also via the More Actions menu, then Revision History. So this is the older version, and then you can revert to this version. And there we are, back to the original. So now we have created our site and we can share it over this Share button on the top right. Here we can change who has access to our site. And you can also add some people to your site so they can see it or work on it with you over this function here. And if you want to go back to the site you can go back here. Okay, so this is basically what you should know about Google Sites and you will figure out the rest while working with it, I'm sure. But if you have any questions, feel free to use the help functions, which you can also find over the more actions menu here. Or contact us if you have any serious problems. So have fun working with Google Sites and goodbye.